What's up guys, it's your boy Christian here back at you for Sneaker Talk with a brand new sneaker shopping challenge video. We are not at home in Toronto. We are in fact in San Antonio, Texas and I have my homie, Legit Vlogs, Mr. Up, uh, Mr. GameStop doing? Challenge, Mr. Wearing ones for the first time in his life. <laughs> ones for the first Mr. time in his life. White. You know, you know, Mexican. Hey, you know, beast. you know. I went the there. only Mexican YouTuber out here, baby. We're doing it. Big. <laughs> so, uh, as you guys know, we did this little series a couple of trips ago where it's a sneaker shopping battle. Sneaker shopping battle. And basically, we're going to be picking different sneakers in different stores. And I'm going to have you guys vote over on Instagram who wins which battle. You guys can also vote in the comment section down below. So, if you guys want to vote while you're watching the video, please do so. And the rules are simple. Basically, we're gonna have three or four or five stores. I think we're gonna go with, with five stores, and we're both gonna pick a sneaker at each store, and you guys are gonna vote. So, loser has to buy the winner one of the shoes from the challenge, and uh, it should be a good time. So make sure you guys stick around, watch the whole video, get your votes in, and if you guys haven't yet followed us on Instagram, mine's at SneakerTalksCA, Tim is SneakerTalksCA is better than me, and we'll catch you guys at the mall. not expecting to find Sesame Yeezy sitting in the states here as well. I heard they sold out in a lot of states, but apparently in San Antonio, they have some sizes left. Tim, how do you feel about Champion and Timberland collabing together? Honestly, it looks kind of fresh. I haven't seen it yet, but it looks kind of fresh. Honestly, I'd rock it. They have all this like wheat colored Bro. merchandise, perfect to match your wheat Tims. Bro, Yeah. but what I'm confused with is why do they have all those pops here? Like, it looks pops. like a toy shop. What the heck? They have like Christmas sweaters Bro, here. it looks like a toy sweaters. shop. Bro. We got Black Panther, okay. That's pretty cool. Black Panther pop figures. Tim's actually shooting a video right now. He's showing the employees the brand new, uh, what is it? The Yeezy's coming out in December. He has an early pair, fake pair. So I'll let Tim do his thing and I'm gonna look around the store for now showing you guys what they have available at Full Locker. What on earth? They have Dragon Ball Z merchandise at Full Locker. This is really, really cool. I'm surprised it's not like besides some Adidas sneaker because of the collaboration, but Dragon Ball Z and pop figures at Foot Locker. What is, what is going on in 2018? Here's a look at the Adidas section that they have. A lot of NMDs. These are the recent NMDs that came out with the little print on the boost you guys can see on the back of the shoe. All right, here's a look at the uh, the Nike selection that they have. They have a lot of like neon green, neon yellow going on. These are, these are really loud, really vibrant, really popping. Ooh, these really scream old school Air Max right here. Here's a look at more of the Nike sneakers that they have, the Air Max section. So Tim has a lot to work with. Tim is definitely going to uh, be able to pick up a fire pair from everything that they have here. And oof, I love these, man. Still one of my favorite releases of the year. Here's a rundown of the Adidas section. I'll show you guys what they have here at Foot Locker. They got a bunch of Continental 80s. Ooh, this is a new colorway. These are cool too, this like white and yellow. I really like the uh, the combination on this release. Probably better than the, uh, the OG red and blue up there. These are what have my attention. They have that full Olympic pack right here. So they have the gold colorway and look at the way that gold reflects off. The, oh my gosh, it looks so, so nice. And I actually used to own a pair of the gold medal uh, Ultra Boost, but I bought them in half a size too small, so I ended up just selling them because they were too tight for me. I sold them to a subscriber, and uh, now, now they're sitting at Full Locker. I never would have thought I'd see these sitting at a Full Locker or just a store in general because these were way more limited when they released the first time around. Here's the other colorways of the Ultra Boost metal pack that they have. They got the bronze colorway right here. Not too crazy about these. And then the silver. The silvers are actually really, really nice. I'm tempted to use these for the challenge, but I feel like I should go with the Yeezys because that should just be an easy clap against whatever sneaker that uh, Tim picks. Here's a quick look at the Nike basketball section. All the stuff that they have available. I like these Air More Monies, pretty fresh. They have a lot of colorways of the Air More Monies that they're putting out recently. And then we got the uh, the gold swoosh foams. I mess with these a lot. 
And then these Air Forces are pretty cool as well. Hits of pink, hits of like a teal blue, and the back. That back is really trippy. Really, really, really trippy looking. Looks like a galaxy kind of print. Here is a look at the uh, Air Jordan selection. Last time we were here, we found a lot of the Raptors 4s sitting. So it doesn't look like they have any Raptors 4s left, unfortunately. But they do have the uh, these really nice 11s, which we saw for like 25% off during Black Friday in Toronto at the Jordan store. We got some 8s. We got some 12s, we got some 5s. So for the very first round of the sneaker battle, we have Tim Selection, which are the Air Jordan 23s. This just dropped already. Air Jordan 23s? Like Michael Jordan 23, like that's his number, bro. <laughs> did, you need a, hey, did, hey, did you need did you need a size this size 10? Yeah, a size 10. 10. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Tim, Tim. we got the Air Jordan, you know, Michael Jordan 23, all red. Air Jordan 12s just dropped. Flame, mm -hmm. fire, OG. Jumpman over the Yeezys? Jumpman oh, over the Yeezys. Easy Jumpman there, over the Yeezys. Easy. All right, so for my selection, I went with the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the Sesame colorway. Surprisingly, they have a good amount of stock for these left, so if you're in San Antonio, stop by the North Star Mall and uh, see if you can get your size. They have like up to size 11.5 and maybe like 25 or 30 pairs left, so don't pay resale for these just yet. All right, so we just finished round one of the sneaker battle at Full Locker. Now next up, instead of going to Foot Action, we're gonna be going to Shoe Palace. So I just realized for round number one, Tim chose a pair of Jordans, and this is supposed to be Nike versus Adidas, but I think we'll let it slide since it does make sense since, you know, Nike owns Jordan brand, and oh my gosh, what? Check it out at Shoe Palace. They have these right here, the Rookie of the Year ones, and do they have my size? I will buy these shoes right now. If they have these shoes in my size, I will buy these. These are so beautiful, so nice, oh my. These are in fact a size 12, unfortunately, so not my size. I'll ask if they have my size available. And this is crazy too. Check out the Jordan selection they have here. This is really, really good. They have the Oreo Force. What? Oreo Force? These came out a long, long, long time ago. So these right here are a size 11.5, so let me throw those back and check these out. Infrared sixes, what? What the heck? Why do they have so much heat at Shoe Palace? This is amazing. Might have to buy these right now, honestly. These Jordan 6s are size 9.5. They're my size for the Jordan 6. We're gonna buy these right now. And then I guess to wrap up the Jordan selections that I'm gonna show you guys, they also have these 13s. Here's a quick look at the Nike selection before we get over to the Adidas. Really nice selection of Shoe Palace. This is really, really surprising. And uh, let's check out over on the Adidas section what they got. The Adidas selection's not that good. They don't really have as much stuff as the Jordans and Nikes that they have here. So I feel like I might end up having to go with the uh, like the Ultra Boost right here, these triple white 4.0s with the black bottoms. All right, so for round number two for the sneaker battle at Shoe Palace, I'm gonna be going with the Ultra Boost 4.0s. We have the all white prime knit upper. We got the black bottom with the continental sole. I have a pretty good feeling about this one, but Legit vlogs. My man's got a killer selection today. I'm gonna have to go with an instant classic, baby. The Air Jordan 6 in the infrared colorway right here. We don't know how, but they ended up having them at the Shoe Palace, so we ended up snagging a pair of nine and a half, baby. Air Jordan, baby, all day. Guys, I'm feeling so hyped right now. I was not expecting to buy infrared 6s today. This is like, this is 2018. We picked up infrared 6s at the mall in my size. Not a size 14 or 15, not a crazy size, like an actual popular size, size 9.5. Anyways, for round number three, we're gonna stop by Foot Action and see what they got here. I gotta say, Foot Action is probably one of my favorite stores to shop at. They have a really good selection of sneakers and clothing, and they also have a selection of Yeezys sitting in the store. I swear, guys, it's not just in Toronto. It's not just in Canada. Some people were like, yo, they're only sitting because you're in Canada. No, man, they're everywhere. And on top of that, Canada usually gets like no stock when it came to Yeezys and Ultra Boost, and now, now Canada's being looked at as a spot that should get a lot of stock. Nah, fam. So Canada has them sitting, America has them sitting. But anyways, let's check on the sneakers for round three of the sneaker battle. So here we have have the beautiful beautiful sneaker wall at foot action we have a lot of stuff to choose from so oh looks like they have the uh the rookie of the years maybe they have a size 10 i'm gonna ask real quick we have the sesame easies right here in the middle of the adidas and air jordan section a lot of jordans to choose from they got these ones on sale for 150 the international five i like this it's like a cream and a red colorway 
I messed with these. And then here's a look at the Nike selection that they have. <laughs> yeah. Nothing too different from the other stores that I showed you guys earlier. I really, really like these Air Max ones. These are fresh. And this is a really clean colorway of the Air Max ones. Navy blue, gray with the gum bottoms right there. Here's a look at the Air Force One selection. I like these with the jewel swoosh. Sort of reminds me of the, uh, the PlayStation Air Force One exclusives. I'll have those up on screen right now. And then check these out. They also made a red colorway. I completely forgot they made a red colorway, but Here's like the four that I've seen so far. Oh, they have an olive colorway, but they don't have it here. But here's a look at some of the uh, utility Air Force Ones. So we have the picks for round three of the sneaker battle. Today we're at foot action for round three. And I'm actually gonna go with these right here. The Adidas NMD from the camouflage pack in this green colorway. I really like these. These definitely remind me of the BAPE NMD collaboration that they did a couple years ago. So I'm gonna have to go with the rookie of the year. You know what I'm saying? With the floppy ears on the one. Not much to say, man. Rookie of the year. So that is round number three of the shoe battle. We got two more stores to hit up. We're gonna hit up River Center Mall real quick and uh, Tim's actually chosen only Air Jordans so far instead of Nike. So we're gonna change the title of this whole battle from Nikes versus Adidas to Air Jordans versus Adidas. And uh, Tim is, is getting more reactions with his Yeezys. So let's check it out. Ooh. Oh my gosh, bro. Are these the statics? Bro, those are the statics. Bruh. What are you thinking right now? Bruh, this... What the... If you guys want to see the full video, check out Tim's channel. I'll leave it linked down below. This video is a banger. Tim, how are you feeling about this, this challenge one, so far? This one is going to be super good because they have so many Jordans sitting on this one. There is at least like 12 pairs of retro Jordans sitting at this Foot Locker. I'm gonna pick some heat, baby. So we're gonna check on Tim's selection in a second, but I asked an employee and they luckily have a size 10 for the rookie of the year. So I'm gonna buy a pair right now. So taking a look at some of the sneakers they have at the Adidas section, this might be the selection I go with the NMD CS1 with the Gore-Tex, that waterproof upper right there. Look at some of the Ultra Boost that they have. This is sort of like an Oreo kind of print. Pretty cool, black and white. We got the triple whites right here. We also have this gray and white upper, pretty nice. Here's a look at the uh, originals up top. Nothing insanely cool. And then here's a look at the uh, the other selection on the bottom. And these are pretty nice too. I'm tempted to go with these, the pods, the olive pod colorway, but we're gonna go with these. So let's go check on Tim. They got a big selection, but a lot of them are ugly. First of all, I didn't know these were for men. I thought these were for women only because they look like a women's shoe, dude. It doesn't look like a man's shoe. It would be dope if they didn't have this. I would pick this for sure, mm -hmm. but it's disgusting. Honestly, I know these weren't that hot, but I'm feeling these, bro. I'm, I'm Personally, I'm feeling these. Honestly, it would have to be between these two. I'm not even sure which one I would pick, mm -hmm. but I think I'll have to go with this one, honestly. Okay. I think I'll have to go with this one. Anyways, we're gonna grab those Rookie of the Year ones right now. Apparently, they have a lot of size 10s, so I'm happy I was able to find my pair here. Shoe Palace has become, honestly, one of my favorite sneaker stores in America. They always come with the heat. But for now, let's grab this one pair, and then we'll head over to Full Locker for their last round of the battle. Tim's, Tim's already found a pair of sneakers I think he's gonna use for the battle. What? High key, low key, these are flame, bro. I know, look, I know they're a girl shoe, but look, bro, all right? It might not be a girl shoe after all. You cause... said it was a girl shoe, I, I don't know. I saw them in the girl Dude, section these are flame, at the though. store. But here's the thing, they're a size 12 and they fit me. So I feel like they oh, might be a size 12 in girls. Yeah, it's a size 12 girl. And that they fit me, that's the thing. Men's. Yeah. Dude, so I might just size. have to, bro. These things are, yeah. these things are sexual, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude. What if I just hit Tim's shoe? Like, just, just put it right there. Let's just do that. All right, so now let's take a look at the Adidas section. And it looks like they have some really good stuff for this final battle. Here's a look at the Adidas selection that I'm not going to be choosing for the challenge. They have a lot of decent stuff, but nothing I think that's going to beat Tim's Jordan 4s. So, we're going to have to go, not to the Adidas Erupts because these aren't gonna beat those fours, but I have a feeling about what will beat the fours, and they're these sneakers right here, the gold metal ultra boost. So I'm gonna have to go with either these sneakers or I'm gonna have to go with the uh, the silver ones right here. It's very tempting to buy these right now also, because like I probably won't be able to buy these for a minute once you sell out in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna go with the gold pair. We're gonna go with the gold pair for this challenge. Here's a quick look at the rest of the, uh, the sneakers that they have, the rest of the ultra boost. NMGs and some more NMGs that are on sale. What? You don't know where your shoes are? Did you take them? <laughs> where are they? Where are they? Where's my other shoes? Got them, bro. Wow, fake. <laughs> Yo, Tim's been freaking out for like the last 30 seconds. Like, yo, where's my shoes? I can't find them. And I hid them. 
right down wow. there. <laughs> You're so fake, bro. Go back. <laughs> Go back to Canada. Just wrapped up the final sneaker battle here at Foot Locker at the River Center Mall. Make sure you guys comment down below who you think should win each round. And uh, before we get back over to Tim's place to reveal the winners, I gotta say, it's pretty funny that the Foot Locker, I think, manager or assistant manager employee here is walking around with the Yeezy Sesames on her neck like a necklace. It's, it's pretty jokes. I just gotta say that. I'm not gonna record her, but that's pretty funny. So it's the time you guys have been waiting for the results for the sneaker battle. Adidas versus Air Jordan. Legit vlogs versus sneaker talk. So hopefully you guys got your votes in over on Instagram. Again, if you guys haven't followed our Instagrams, they're on screen right now. So for sneaker battle number one, let's let's change the POV. We had the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2s versus the Jordan 12s, and I beat Tim on his beautiful red Jordan 12s. Tim, how do you feel about that loss? How do you feel about that? All I'm gonna say, look, all I'm gonna say is the hype beast, whatever the hype beast wants is what the hype beast is gonna get, all right? So personally, the Yeezys were just more hype. That's all I'm gonna say, man. The Yeezys were just more hype. That's what it is. That's what it is. So for a sneaker battle round number two, this one was a close one. I I was not expecting these, it's like this close of a result. It's insane how close this was. Crazy. So here we have it. This is the Jordan 6 Infrareds versus the Triple White Ultra Boost 4.0 with the black bottom and the Ultra Boost win by 2%, 51% to 49%. Tim, that's another L. Like I was saying, man, the Hypebeast wants what the Hypebeast gets. I feel like the Jordan 6 Infrareds was hyped back in the day when I was in middle school, but I feel like nowadays you're not going to see kids with that anymore. They're going to be wearing the Ultra Boost, so obviously you'd vote for the Ultra Boost. <sighs> Tim's just having a bad streak so far. It's 2-0. I'm up. And now round three. Round three, I wasn't expecting to do too well, considering the selection at the foot action wasn't that great. So this was an easy clap for Tim. Tim absolutely decimated me on this. This was the Adidas NMD R1 Camouflage versus the Rookie of the Years. And he, look at that, look at those results. 71% to 29%. Tim, Tim, it's your first W today. First That's what W. I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Those were fresh. Brand new release. I don't know what Christian was thinking. I think, you know, his game was a little bit off today, but I came and I came at it hard and I came to win. So for round number four, we went to Shoe Palace at the River Center Mall and uh, I was lucky. Very lucky, not in the sense of the results, because we'll get to that in a second, but I'm happy I got to buy the Rookie of the Year Air Jordan 1s, and not just one pair, but two pairs. So I'll have a second pair to bring back home with me to Canada. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. I might just sit on it and let its value go up over time, because that's what happened to the, the, I think the Storm Blue or some blue Hyper Royal Air Jordan 1s. The last time I was here, those were sitting, and then they were reselling for like $100 over retail back home in Canada. So for round number four, we have the Air Jordan 5 versus the NMD Gore-Tex and Tim. Tim took the W, 59% to 41%. That means it's a tie. It's two to two. Who would vote for a name like Gore-Tex? So <laughs> Man, look, so for this one, all right, yeah. I, I went with my instincts. I was okay. like, yo, I think these shoes are fire. I personally think these shoes are fire. I know they're not as hype as they should be, yeah. but I think they're fire. And it turns out they ended up winning, so pretty good. You know, you know Gore-Tex is the name of the material, right? Not just the name of the shoe. But still, Gore-Tex sounds disgusting. Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex. Oh, look at that Gore-Tex over there. Oh. Yeah, I can see your <laughs> Gore-Tex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, final battle. And this one, feeling good about this one. This really was good. the really Golden good. Ultra Boost versus the Woman's Air Jordan 4. Oh, those were fire. That bro. he got in a large enough size to fire. wear for men's. And they were like red with a gum bottom. They were nice. But the results, the results were in Sneaker Talk favor we have 67 percent for the ultra boost versus the 33 percent for the jordan 4 which means i am the san antonio sneaker champion that does not correlate to being the san antonio sneaker champion yeah. that just means you won the hype <laughs> sneaker battle <laughs> a hype sneaker battle this, hype sneaker this battle. is adidas this versus was a, nah, jordan nah, this nah, is nah, a nah, hype nah, nah, sneaker nah. battle but to be fair you have all all the fans respectively are hype beasts <laughs> they love what is hype you know what i'm saying like they don't care about, you know, the culture. Air Jordan. All right, I'm just hearing excuses out of Tim. Air Maybe Jordan. we'll do a hypey sneaker battle next time. <laughs> that means I am the winner, and that means I'm gonna be getting a free pair of sneakers from today's video. I appreciate the, uh, this is a poor buy.
by giving me a pair of uh, Yeezys because I won this battle. And uh, if you guys wanna enter my Black Friday Yeezy giveaway for the Sesames, make sure you guys check out my Black Friday videos. You can like and comment on any of those to get your entry in. And I'm also gonna post a photo on Instagram today at Sneaker Talksier for your last chance at getting those Sesames. Any final words, Tim? Any final words?